Okay, hi guys. This is Andrea and I am with Real Life with Andrea. And today we are going to be looking at a before and after video of my house. So I know I've showed you different times before how messy my house can be. I've explained how I don't really like it that way. And every once in a while, I just get that itch to just make it all go away. So today, yesterday, today I decided, let's start, step back. I decided to have a Norwex party today. Today is Sunday and my party was today and thank you to all those who came, thank you to those who ordered. And if you were unable to come and unable to order, but you would like to, there are plenty of opportunities in the future. Okay, so, but when you have a party at your house, it's always the best time to get things cleaned up. And so this time I wanted to challenge myself not to just shove things in places to get it out of people's view, but to actually take the time to decide the things that I'm touching. Am I keeping it? Do I have a place for it? Do I have a need for it? And if I don't, it needs to go. And if I do, I need to put it away. So I wanted to start that yesterday morning. It was Saturday morning and my uh, all my kids were going off someplace else by noon. And so I got up and I made a huge mess in the house and that was after I did the before video so I took so many things apart by noon and then I was like I can't do this so my bedroom was a wreck I had just dumped everything out to go through the living room was a wreck it, worse than the video and I completely freaked out and went around sailing, did my returns, spent the afternoon not doing any cleaning, went out to dinner with my mom, and then got home about 5.30, quarter to six, and was like, okay, I have to tackle this. I absolutely have to tackle this because I have people coming over tomorrow. So I got started and I got busy. It was wonderful because it was really just me and my oldest son home. And he's great for, hey, honey, I need some help. Can you help me move this? Can you be my muscle? And, or can you go do these three things for me? And then he'll go do his thing. And an hour later, I might call him to do something else. And he's really, really great with that. And so I got started and I felt like this was never going to happen. I was never going to have it in shape in time. And I just pushed through and pushed through. And at 1.30 in the morning, I had my bedroom sort of, my bedroom slash office sort of clean and put back together. And that still has some work to do, but it is in great shape comparatively. I had the living room had been completely empty, cleaned, carpet moved. The carpet did not get cleaned, but everything was dusted, put back where it belonged. Things that I didn't want in there were taken out. Only the things that I wanted left in there were in there and it looked really great. And I had gotten to the bookshelf in the hallway, but that was it. The kitchen was a disaster. The bathroom was a disaster. Everything else was a disaster and I was too tired. So I went to bed and I got up this morning and I didn't get up until eight and I'm like, okay, I gotta just make this happen. And I pushed through and you can tell me what you think about the results. So in less than 24 hours, because I really started cleaning at six. I started making a mess in the morning. I started cleaning about six o'clock last night, six to 1.30 in the morning, and then eight until about noon today, I guess one o'clock. I got all my laundry done. That is always a bonus. And you'll get to see um, what the results were. So here we go.
Okay, so now that you have seen the before, let's take a look at what transpired in the last 24 hours. Okay, so as you can see, the results were really great. I was super happy with what transpired and how much I got done. And I really did not shove things in any places. Everything was put in a place or it was put in the car to go to Goodwill. So I was really, really happy with that. Also, we got a lot of yard cleanup due and we'll just do a quick walk throughout here because all of this has been a complete disaster for a long period of time. But I've been working on it a little bit at a time because you couldn't even walk out here. There was so much stuff. So we got our carpet down. Oops, still gotta put my Norwex stuff away. Uh, our table and chairs. We got the yard cleaned up. We had seating for people to enjoy the outside space. We have a bench down there. Yeah, our yard even looked really great so it was a great day for a party it was a good party i enjoyed the people who stepped by i hope to do it again soon and maybe we'll see you there